Hello! Today's topic is the cost estimation scheduling by schedules and quantities. In general, creating a schedule is mainly to estimate costs and quantities of project elements, such as rooms, finishes, flooring, walling, ceiling, etc. The schedule is extracted from the properties of the elements in a project. Therefore, all schedules update automatically when we modify the model. For example, if we move a wall, the area updates in a room schedule accordingly. And we can add a schedule to a drawing sheet. There are two ways to generate the cost schedule, either by using schedules and quantities or by using material takeoff. And I will showcase the cost estimation by schedules and quantities through two examples. Example 1. The wall calculation by schedules and quantities. Hit View tab schedules schedule quantities I'm going to look for walls I will rename it cost wall example 1 I would add parameters such as area cost family and type also I'm going to add family as a parameter in addition to those parameters and in order to estimate the wall cost we need to add a calculated parameter this is the icon of add calculated parameter. I would name it add calculated parameter example one formula. For discipline, I would choose common. For type, I would choose currency instead of number. Formula, from that icon, I would choose area, okay. From the keyboard times again cost so it is area time cost divided from keyboard by one please make sure to divide the formula by one so far this is my schedule cost wall example one before hitting sorting and grouping we need to set the price of the walls. To set the prices, we go to the floor plan views and we should be selecting each different type of walls and set the price of each one of them. For instance, I have duplicated that specific wall type. Therefore, I am confidently going to edit type it. In identity data, we will find cost. I can type in 50. But what is the currency? Hit Match tab, Project Unit, Currency. Now I am ready to go back to my wall cost schedule example one. Double click and sorting and grouping, edit. I will sort by family and then by add calculated parameter example one grand totals and I would uncheck itemize every instance if all prices were set for all different types of walls that cost estimation would have been the accurate cost but unfortunately it is not the case moving to example 2 calculation of furniture by schedules and quantities please note that before getting started to create our furniture schedules, we need to place that furniture into our project. This is by hitting Architectural tab, Component, Place a Component. We can hit Load Family to place a specific piece of furniture. But for our demonstration, I would place that dining room from the type selector. Something else we need to consider before hitting schedules and quantities, which is to set the prices of the furniture. To do so, we need to double click on that dining room, for example, edit type, duplicate, example. Then from identity data, cost, I can set any price, maybe 100 or 500 
But what is the currency? We need to go to Manage tab, Project Unit to set our preferred currency. Now I am ready to create the furniture schedule. Hit View tab, Schedules, Schedule Quantities. In category, I'm going to look for Furniture. I would rename it Furniture Schedule Example 2. The parameters which I'm going to add are Cost, Family, Count, Type, Level, Family and Type. Afterwards, I will hit Sorting and Grouping. Sort by Family and Type and sort by level. Check grand totals. If we don't want to display all items of the same family and to show how many items of every family type, we uncheck itemize every instance. Finally, to calculate the cost of the furniture, hit formatting, edit, Cost, calculate totals, okay.